We've sown our seeds, we've planted out our seedlings, we've fertilized, pruned, and trellised, and we're waiting for our tomatoes. In order to have tomatoes, you have to have flowers. And here they are. And there they go. Why is this happening? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you why it's happening, and I'm gonna show you how to keep it from happening so you can have your best harvest ever. Coming up. Hey guys, I'm Brian with California Garden TV, and if you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support, then you've come to the right place. Click subscribe to get started, and hit the bell icon so you never miss anything. Let's get growing. So there are two main reasons why your flowers happen to be falling off rather than setting fruit. The first one is hot weather. Now, if you have consistent daytime temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or nighttime temperatures above 75 degrees Fahrenheit, it creates a lot of stress on the plant and the plant feels like it just needs to survive and not necessarily reproduce yet. And so it's gonna drop off the flowers whether they were pollinated or not. Now there are a couple things you can do in this situation. If you have a long growing season, so maybe you are in the southern part uh, of the northern hemisphere or the northern part of the southern hemisphere, so you get a long growing season, you can either plant real early before the frost uh, danger is passed and then put them out immediately after and hopefully you'll get a harvest before the hot summer kicks in. Or you sow the seeds in the maybe midsummer and try to time the harvest for late summer, early fall, when those temperatures start to cool off a little bit. Now, if you live in a cooler climate with um, a shorter growing season, you might get heat, but maybe it isn't quite as long. Maybe it's a heat wave a week here or there. And so in that situation, there are a couple more things you can do. First of all, the easiest thing to do is get yourself some 35% shade cloth. And just on hot days, go toss the shade cloth over the plants. And just it, it'll just bring the temperature down enough to maybe continue with production. Now, if you have a longer heat spell, maybe we're getting into two weeks, three weeks of you know really hot weather then the only thing you can really do is just help your plants get through that heat. Keep watering, fertilizing, spraying, just keep them happy. The flowers are gonna fall off, but once that weather cools off, it should jump right back into production. The second reason your flowers might be falling off is a lack of pollination. We've all experienced less bees in our garden more and more every year, and less bees means less production. But there are three ways that you can fill in for the bees on pollination duty. Number one is simply every day when you come out to check on your garden, because you do that every day, right? Give the cage or the string or the trellis, whatever you're growing them on, give it a tap. Just a gentle tap. Tomatoes have perfect flowers, and that means that each flower contains the male and the female parts. So just a little tap can be enough to get the pollen, the male part, onto the stigma, the female part. There's not a, a long ways for it to travel to do that. However, in this situation, it's all about timing because overnight and on wet days, the pollen can clump together because it's wet. And so giving it a tap, it's not really gonna do anything. You wanna give it a tap when it's dry. So when you tap it, you get a fluff of pollen and it will pollinate your flowers. So uh, try to pollinate between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on drier, sunnier days. The next way is to give your flowers a little tickle. Just take a small paintbrush and go to each flower and just kind of brush it a little bit. And that's gonna help transfer the pollen to the stigma. It's a little more involved, but it does help when the pollen is wet. So if you have wet weather, that would be a better way of doing it than just tapping the plant. The third way is a little more high tech, not too high tech, but we're gonna use an old electric toothbrush. The vibration of the toothbrush mimics a bee buzz. 
And so all you have to do is hold this brush up to the flowers just for a second or two and let it vibrate that pollen onto the stigma. Now I've had questions in the past about cross-pollination. If you're using the same toothbrush or the same paintbrush on different varieties of tomatoes, are you gonna get cross-pollination? The answer is possibly, but should you care? You should only care if you plan on saving the seeds to grow next year because cross-pollination does not affect this year's fruit. It's only gonna affect the seeds, which could give you a little bit of a variation in variety the following year. So if you're not gonna collect the seeds, don't worry about it. But you know, even bees cross-pollinate flowers and create their own varieties. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. So armed with this information, you can now outsmart the weather and pollination issues and get a huge bumper crop of tomatoes this year. So I hope this is helpful. I did wanna let you know that this coming Friday's video, it's gonna be a good one. You know, it's been over two months since we did our last video at Tammy's house on our brand new Gardening from Scratch series for obvious reasons. Uh, but this morning, I actually went over there and we did some filming to update you. I have to tell you, I am so impressed with what they have done without me being there. It is an unbelievable garden. And if you guys remember what it was like before, it was basically a vacant dirt area. Um, you will be so impressed just like I was. So we're gonna give you a tour of her garden. We're also going to harvest her potatoes. That was a lot of fun. We had the kids involved and she got a really good amount of potatoes out of a very small space. Uh, we're also gonna plant some corn and some chives. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned Friday for that. Um, as always, I hope you got something out of this video. Give me a like and a subscribe if you did and definitely comment down below. I'd appreciate it. I will see you guys on Friday.